Hello, I'm wearing my festive Christmas jumper. Woo! And I'm also wearing Christmas socks, but you can't see that. And I also wanted to put my fairy lights up, but the sun's actually shining in the freaking UK. I haven't seen the sun for like weeks, so it's actually pretty nice, but I couldn't put my fairy lights on because you wouldn't see it. So I'm just gonna do it like this, and you'll see a weird stripe here, the shadow. Oh well. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a Dutch tradition called Sinterklaas, um, which is uh, on the 5th of December, so it's already been, it was last weekend. Um, I was um, explaining it in my vlog and I was like, maybe this is something I can talk about in a video, because um, people from other countries don't know what it is, don't know what it's about, and they don't really understand it if they do know what it's about. So I thought in this video I'm just going to explain to you um, what it is, what it's about, and... Um, why it's kind of strange, but you'll understand that when I start telling you. So, Sinterklaas. It sounds like Santa Claus. It's not Santa Claus. We're very, very precise about the fact that it's not the same thing as Christmas. Because we do have Christmas as well. We just have two different holidays, which is pretty nice when you think about it. Um, so, Sinterklaas is an old man. Um, people say, as I've said in my vlog, people say it's like a mixture between the Pope and uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> Which could be, like, I can see it. He has a big book, like the big book of Sinterklaas. In the book are all the kids' names and the ones who have been uh, nice, the ones who have been naughty, kind of like Santa Claus. The kids that have been nice, they get presents. The kids that haven't been nice, um, they, <laughs> this is so strange, they get hit with sticks, put in a bag and sent off to Spain. That's the story. And that frightens all children. So that's like the thing that kids want to be nice and have to behave well and stuff. Around half of November, Sinterklaas arrives in the Netherlands. He comes from Spain. Um, he has a lot of helpers, which are called Zwarte Pieten, which tra when you translate it means Black Pete, kind of? Pieters? Pete is a name. So um, yes, they're black. Sinterklaas also has a horse, a white horse typically, and they come on a big steamboat and there's a big like happening when he comes to uh, the country that is broadcasted on uh, national television and um, before he comes there's this um, Sinterklaas news kinda and it's always presented by the same woman that is every evening and all the kids watch that and they're all very excited and then he comes to the country. From that moment on kids get to um, put their shoe underneath the chimney and then the story is that in the middle of the night Sinterklaas and Zwarte Pieten will come onto the rooftops and uh, throw presents through the chimneys into the kids' shoes. They get like tiny presents in the shoes and they get to do that a couple times a week depending on the parents obviously and they sing songs too. We have like a lot of typical Sinterklaas songs. And then it's the 5th of December and that's called uh, present night kind of and uh, on that evening all the Zwarte Pita bring a big bag of presents to the houses and they ring the doorbell and then run away or sometimes they leave it somewhere or it's up to the parents to decide that obviously um, and they leave a big bag of presents and then all the kids uh, get presents. There's this whole thing, discussion, controversy about the Zwarte Pieten because obviously they're black and they're Sinterklaas's helpers. The uh, traditional story is that they're black because they came through the chimneys and like the black stuff, I don't know the name, comes on their face and that's why they're black. But um, it's been interpreted as being slaves because of like the slavery history of um, the white people and the black people and the big like yeah, okay, you all know what it's about. Um, they're being treated as slaves, it looks like it. That's why there's a big uh, discussion going on. It's Well, it's, it started a long time ago, but last year it got a lot of media attention, and this year again. And uh, a lot of people are like against the Zwarte Pieten, and some people are uh, for the Zwarte Pieten because they think it's a tradition. I don't really have an opinion on this. I do think it's discrimination, but uh, I also think that the traditional story is different, it has nothing to do with slavery, so I'm a little bit in between. Yeah, I guess that's the story, and it's a little weird. I don't really know why we have that, because it's just in, the just in the Netherlands. My country has a name that's unpronounceable, I'm not kidding. Um, I could just call it Holland. Um, it's only in my country and in Belgium, and I don't know if it's anywhere else in the world, but it's kind of strange. I don't know why we don't have like the normal Father Christmas stuff. 
we don't have Father Christmas. Um, well, some families do like to do it, but usually um, kids don't believe in Father Christmas. They do all believe in Sinterklaas, like firmly believe in the guy. Oh, and we have a lot of food that comes with it too. The most like significant food of Sinterklaas is paper noza. It's like um, cookies, but they're tiny. They're like this big and round and they are kind of spicy like cinnamon and stuff is in it it's really good and you get them in like covered with chocolate or just normal ones or covered in all these weird different things another traditional food is chocolate letters you get your first letter in made out of chocolate and all types of chocolate it's so amazing i eat like five of these a year my family sent me this which i'm pretty happy about because i can't buy it here obviously i like it i like having a weird tradition so yeah i thought maybe it would be fun to share this with you maybe you think this is interesting so that's what i wanted to talk to you about i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching bye